like to be very glad that Henry closed out on the cultural note because we've covered pretty much every other aspect of this, well, I call it geothermal pick the bottle, honestly. But in any case, we, we haven't gotten to what may be the most important aspect of this, which is the cultural, the historical, the traditional. And for that, we have none other than of Pele Defense from the legendary Polycopter Dead Man. First of all, I'm not anti-anybody, but I'm going to be speaking real pro-Hawaiian, and that's my point of view. So, a little history of uh, when geothermal was being first proposed on this island, it was in another community, not yours, but it was called Volcano Community Association. That was up there in Volcano and Kahulea was being proposed. But at the same thing, like you're doing now, it's an argument between science and science. It was environmentalists that didn't have much money fighting against the developer that had a lot of money. So in the court case, it was who's a better expert, and that's how it was going. What a community is doing all this realize that they need another component, maybe to give a little leverage in their lawsuit or a contested case that was going on. So they needed the Hawaiian component because it was all science against science, which you kind of heard all day today. Not one idea or one person talked about village traditions and the Hawaiian people. You had an ex-mayor that never brought it up, you got a senator that never brought it up. So you can see how far we behind in bringing the awareness to the public, even though we vote for these people as Hawaiians. We pay taxes in the state of Hawaii, like everybody else. We don't get any exemptions. All we get is being ignored. And that's how it's been historically. How many people live in Hawaii understand the history of our Hawaii? We all understand American history. Do we still believe that Captain Cook discovered these islands? <laughs> huh? Come on. So what about the Hawaiian people? It is, and through that situation, Billy erupted, which the uh, newspaper said, our uh, final witness speaks in this contested case, was the eruption of Blue Wall. When well, they erupted in the middle of Campbell State's Kaolea property, the, the, the state immediately did a land swap. Then they came down in your neighborhood. Because it was a large area, a natural area reserve of 28,000 acres. Legislator made a sign of signature and swapped that land to Campbell for industrial development after a large, which is a natural area reserve system, the highest status of land preservation the state has. How do you take that out overnight and turn it into a natural area? That's what happened. Okay? And during that time, for Rugby, they were drilling with our lawsuits, with our demonstrations, with over 400 people. Historically, the largest arrest in any demonstration in the state of Hawaii was on the geothermal in your neighborhood. And it was all the solidarity that they all shared together with the native people at that time. Harry King knew about the Defense Fund. Russell Lillard knows about the Defense Fund. When they think about where they are today, what's the difference from 20 years ago when they knew about it until now? Was it an attitude adjustment or was it a money adjustment? Did they grow and understand? I don't hear it. Now, as a Hawaiian, I'm saying, I don't have much voice in the community anymore. I don't have much voice in the government anymore. The census show us that number four, our population equal to Filipinos. How much voice do we have now in Hawaii? Get me out of Hawaii at home. But as a Hawaiian in my home, my voice is nothing. It don't mean nothing no more. And as everybody knows that Historically, we are, it has been, and statistics show that we are being eliminated from this so-called islands by race. We're the fastest dying population 
in the state. We're the most incarcerated in the prisons today. State has done nothing to stop the social problems and situations of Native Hawaiians. All they have done is pray with the institutions of Hawaiians that are in a condition not to think traditional, but to be Western and use the Hawaiian as their card so that I cannot scream out of Hawaiian about racism. Because it's a Hawaiian. They stand back and bear our line to stand in front of me so I can't use those words. And that's been going on for a long time. And that's been going on now. I sit here and be disappointed listening to our ex mayor and our senator and never tell about the situation and never bring it up. That's the problem. Is that we're supposed to keep planting seeds. Whether it gets been done or not, but the noise and the issue is out there. You all heard about it. Politicians don't want to talk about it. But they like the music. They like the food. But they don't like the people. Huh? Yeah. Environmentalists, we got a lot of them. Hugging trees. Do they hug people? Why? We don't come? You're so busy saving all the rest of the, the natural things in Hawaii, but you don't save the people. You don't care about the people. You can exist in Hawaii without Hawaiians. And that's where we're headed. And that's where we're at. But if I'm talking to some words, I told at the beginning. I'm not here to anti anybody. I'm talking for me. Which you don't hear every day. You don't see it on television. You don't even hear a Hawaiian man say it. Or a Hawaiian government say it. When he was gone. The problems we have is our own people. And the rest of our communities not supporting who we are as a Hawaiian. We care with this environment that wasn't empty when you got here. And since Western contact, 400 species has been extinct. Not from us. And we're the best of being extinct. We, our rest of people, our traditions and customs. I'm not talking about the assimilated alliance. They use them. You see them all around. They sound like you. Are we supposed to sound like you in a while? The baby bird supposed to change their song in the lifetime? Why are we changing our song? There's no extra Hawaii. There's no extra Hawaiians. Why isn't there any importance for a planet? Why are we important enough to be medicine, medicine all the time? to government, part of the process. We can't even test in our own future as Hawaiian people in Hawaii. And the Hawaiian leaders we have, they're very Western and try to be and prove to the Westerns that they can be that way. Now you know I've got the truth. If I don't have to the truth, then the statistics would have shown it. We've got the highest crime rate, we've got the fastest social diseases that's killing us. We're the first race of people off this island, as Hawaiians. But we've got the richest Hawaiians in all the trusts. Yeah. And what do they do? Let us fall to our cracks while they take care of themselves. That's been ongoing already. And now you've got Hawaiians coming back to promote your trouble? Because you know that that was the opposition? And they talk about pay as a gift? If Bibles was harder than Luke, then it wouldn't matter. Why? Is that a desecration? Would it change religion if we turn Buddha on his head? What? Did I offer the theology of something sacred? What do you think Trinity is in Geopoga? Growing up the tradition, you can't take more power over there. But you can drill to your thumb and change the whole concept. You can alter my theology or my beliefs. You won't look at what the impacts that will do, but you'll run and study on bugs real quick. Bugs and birds, air quality, water quality, what is that saying to me? What's important to them is important to me. I don't have an alternative as a Hawaiian. This is all I got there. If the people don't want to live in Hawaii with the lines, they wouldn't be. 
But you ain't going to say it, he can tell you. I put a bug in your ear about what is right and what is wrong. And we have the right to be our minds in our life forever. To infinity. We don't have the principle. I'm not 
three years when the Vietnam War. I was in 17, get away from this old madness. Came out three years later, 21. And a sergeant when I got out. Not even 20, just turned 21 a month after I got out. I did an awful thing for my country. Not to come home and find out that freedom of religion, I didn't come. How was that? Fought for every other religion, but mine was never acknowledged. Our government don't acknowledge it. Our mayors don't acknowledge it. Our council people don't acknowledge it. Our senators don't acknowledge it. And I have a right to my religion, and I fought for it. I fought for everybody's religion. And you think about it today. Our hayouts, our temples of worship, you can buy one. Can I go buy a Catholic church? No. Then how do you get to own my church and dictate my religion when I lose it, how I lose it? And that's how it is today. They got my ancestors. I put a whole lot of them. It's okay. What is that kind of dignity? I mean, what is it? Fighting for our so-called American beliefs. And all this mistreatment. Uh, I mean, you're lucky. And I say to myself, we don't have enough people to run around and create riots and bring concerns like you watch on television. And other countries screaming to government on treatment of their religion and their beliefs. We can't do that. It's supposed to be up and up. I'm not supposed to do that. They're supposed to take care. Not the way it is, but statistics show I'm the most neglected race in this state. The rich is to trust, but they don't care. It's not about trust. Hawaiians and missions, statements that they were set up to do. It's about profit, money. And you can take the Hawaiian with it if it's for sale. Just want you all to understand that not all Hawaiians, not all Hawaiians so out. Not all Hawaiians are simulated. They never asked me to join. He stuck it down my throat, whether I like it or not. There's a difference between false assimilation and willing to assimilate. We're not stupid. Because every black child in America knows what racism is. But we don't learn that in our school. We don't teach that in our schools. Because it's rapid, right and rapid, for generations to government. I know I'll never have the opportunities as other people do. All I wanted to do was stay alive in a while. That's the only place that I can be one. I'll be a hard time pushing a while in Pasadena. <laughs> but I think you're supposed to make it at all. So, your time is something that religiously has to be respected. That should be number one of all priorities of all organizations against your trouble. It ain't about good science and bad science, man. There's no good way. Okay? You don't trust it up. It ain't small scale. I say, yeah, I'm not small scale. You're there. Wait, it's great. To my religion, that's what you're doing. And if you have taken the time to make a study, our government, on the impact of what it's done, then you should do that already. By taking my soul, we have become nothing less from all the statistics of the social problems of Native Hawaiians. That's because I have no place to turn to. Now, church that I can go and be myself. Where else? There it is. The parking lots, that's where they're picking us up. 6,000 prisoners 
Hvad er det, der er Og med forvej. Få forvejen, der er nede i forvejen. Hvad kan man have mission, de gav mig kommandet Who said that? And that's how it is. I steal a $5,000 car. I'm going to jail for five years. And 40000 I have per year. I get $200,000 for a $5,000 car. Taxpayer that pay. But is there anything that's losing the statistics? Lower down nothing. Not a fair down, not a nothing. It's just a number that they can use to make $240 million for the Public Safety Department in the state of Hawaii. Use the Hawaii, he's a head cop. Enough of that bullshit. Somebody's got to be responsible. And I hate to see our kids be pissed off because there's no place to turn to. They better wake up now because they ain't going to go away. You see the problems in America with racism. And you see how terrible it is now. How everybody is arguing and point of view on it. It ain't going to go away. It can't pass on an island because it never had it. But if we're going to keep breeding it, it's going to catch up. So I'm against your turn of my religious beliefs. That should be number one on all the priorities of everything before science. Now you take number two, the gas, the water. Yes, I drink water and I breathe air. It is a problem for me. But if it's good geothermal, if it's clean geothermal, if it's quiet geothermal, we're going to have it? Because I'm the only one who get affected? Come on. That's why it's not. There is no such a thing as clean geothermal. Not, not five miles from the light of the river. Not five miles from the to bed. You will tell me you're safe. If anything, we are bound down. The earth ain't stopped yet. Mama ain't done making what she's supposed to do. All we supposed to do was maintain. Not screw it up. Maintain. That's the Hawaiian word of Malama. We live with loving what we do. We in connection with nature. Everywhere we go, from ocean to the mountain, we talk it. Who we talk it to? Our families understanding what spirituality is. That's who we talk it to. But when I say it to a developer, I get questioned. Who questions the poor? Huh? I get questioned on my beliefs. Right. It's a psychological effect. And if you're going to take away all the resources, and all I have left is my soul, and you're going to tamper with that, then I don't know really how future what's going to happen. We need that understanding of that component in needing our mind respected, upheld and understood my spirituality. Don't be afraid, man. If I had my rights back to my religion, would that be a threat to the United States? Oh, I don't think so, man. I think you can have more happy people. Let me believe how I believe at all. Like every other believe. You're supposed to share it. I'm just saying, don't kill it. That's the only thing left. They attack the ocean, there's spirituality there. Don't give a damn. There's better sites, spirituality there. Don't give a damn. To the forest, to the mountain, to my appear. When I say sacred, don't mean nothing to them. It's got to mean something now. Everybody's got to carry it. Some, some torch, some light, and keep it right in everybody else. I mean, this is home, and treat it right. Don't pick and choose. It came, everything came when you came to you. That's the problems of the lady people, that's the environment of the lady people, that's how they're going to live socially in the future. Everybody's got to play in that. He's saying a 
continent, man. This is an island. So 300, 300 miles southward. That's why it's out. Thank you very much. Thank you. 